What's up, Kasorians? I'm Chef Margaret, and today I'll be showing you how to make chocolate lava cakes in the air fryer. It's the perfect dessert to make, in my opinion, for any chocolate lover, for Valentine's Day coming up, or any special occasion. Hit the subscribe button to become part of the Kasori community, and if you'd like to be notified every time we upload new recipe videos, hit the bell icon. All right, so the first step is to prepare our ramekins. So I have two six ounce ramekins that we're going to butter and sugar. And um, I just have like a softened, you know, half stick of butter or just any, any little bit. And I'm just gonna go all the way on the inside, get the corners, the, it, all the little creases of the ramekin really nicely buttered. And you want to do this because obviously it's going to make it so much easier when you remove the lava cakes from the molding. And it's one less thing you have to stress about. You'll be ensured that they will come out smoothly. Got that one nice. This one, perfect. And then I have um, a bowl here of just um, some sugar that I'm just gonna Put about like a tablespoon in each ramekin and then I'm gonna twirl it around and spin it so that it gets all the sides. And then I'm pouring the excess back into this bowl so I'm not wasting any sugar. And then that one looks awesome and I'm gonna do the same with this one. So I'm gonna pour about a tablespoon in there and then it's all coated at the bottom and we go on the sides. And I like buttering and sugaring these versus just using like nonstick spray because you get that flavor of the butter and the sugar forms like a nice crust on the lava cakes. So I highly recommend that you grease them this way. All right, those are ready to go. So now we're going to melt our butter and chocolate together. So I have three ounces of bittersweet chocolate and I used a whole bar of chocolate that I chopped up versus chocolate chips because chocolate chips have stabilizers in them and that will prevent you from getting that ooey gooey melted chocolate lava in the center. So I have three ounces of bittersweet chocolate and I've got three tablespoons of softened butter. I'm just gonna pop that in. And I'm going to melt these together over my double boiler that I have set up back there. So um, I'll meet you guys back there. All right, so I've got a pot here of simmering water, and then I'm just gonna simply put my heat proof bowl right on top of it. And the bottom of this is not touching the water. So this is basically how you create a double boiler. And it just gently melts the chocolate and the butter. Um, together, which is what you want. So I'm just going to be here, kind of babysit it for a little bit um, and stir it together until everything is melted nicely. If you didn't want to go through this step, you could totally use a microwave to melt the butter and chocolate together, but I would do it in like maybe 15 second intervals so that you're not you know, burning the chocolate or anything like that. You want it to be like a very smooth, gentle melt. Awesome. So everything looks like just about melted. So now I'm gonna turn off the heat and remove this bowl. And I'm just gonna let it cool down just a little bit while we continue on with the recipe. All right, before we continue on with the lava cakes, we're gonna preheat the air fryer to 360 and get that going. 360, perfect. That way when the batter's all done, the air fryer will be preheated and it'll go smoothly. So I have um, three tablespoons of granulated sugar that I'm just gonna add to my sand mixer. You can also use a hand mixer, it works great. I have one large egg plus one egg yolk. Add in here. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna, Beat this on high speed until the color turns a very pale yellow and it's thickened a lot. It's gonna happen in like one to two minutes and it's important to do this step because it creates air in the eggs and sugar 
and it'll help with the batter of the lava cakes be what it's supposed to be. So don't skip this step. I'm gonna lift that and start beating on high speed. All right, so the eggs and sugar mixture now looks really great. It's a pale, thickened uh, yellow color. So now I'm going to add the butter chocolate mixture right into the bowl. Get it all in there. Okay, perfect. And then I have two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna add that in. And now I'm just gonna mix like on low speed until everything is incorporated. That looks great. And now I'm just gonna give one final last um, stir with my spatula. Just because with sand mixers, you never really know if it fully mixes everything. So I think it's always good to do one final mix with everything. Scrape the bottom, make sure everything is really nice and incorporated. Just like that, perfect. And now we just have to fill it, the batter in our ramekins. So I'm just gonna divide it equally between my two ramekins here. Get it going. Oh yeah, it's already looking fudgy and super delicious. And if you wanted to make the batter ahead of time and you just wanted to, like if you're making a romantic dinner or whatever, and you want these for dessert, you can make it up to this stage, fill the batter in the ramekins, and then cover these with plastic wrap. And then all you're gonna do is add an extra minute to the time when you're air frying them. So that is a great tip to do. Awesome. These look great. They are fires preheated. So I'm going to pop these in just like this. I'm gonna wipe the edge, make them look nice and pretty. And now these bake at 360 for nine minutes and they're gonna be golden and crispy on the outside and still gooey on the inside. Perfect. All right, the timer went off. So let's look at our lava cakes. They look perfect. They've kind of like almost souffléed on the top and they've got a beautiful crust on the outside and they're gonna be just delicious. But you want them to sit for about one minute before inverting. So I'm gonna patiently wait one minute and then we'll get to inverting and dusting with powdered sugar and topping with berries. All right, it's time to invert these. So they are hot. I have chef hands where I can pretty much pick up something hot and I'm okay, but use an oven mitt and you place your plate that you're gonna serve it on on top and then just confidently flip it over. And then you can do a little tap. You're nervous, but, and then it'll pop right out just like that. And then move it in the center and, oh, it smells so good. You can get the chocolate aroma. Mm. Okay, so now I'm gonna start decorating it. You can do um, whipped cream, you can do vanilla ice cream is so delicious. I have some fresh berries and powdered sugar, which is um, really lovely and pretty, but you can do it however you like. All right, it's time to taste the lava cakes. Um, they look so good. They're gooey, chocolatey, and you can just see how molten they are. Um, yeah, it's just perfect. I'm gonna taste a little bite. Mmm, so good. It's so chocolatey, dense, and 
gooey. It's just the ultimate chocolate dessert if you are a chocolate lover. The air fryer does such a great job of getting it golden and crispy on the outside and then it's gooey um, and full of chocolate flavor on the inside. It's just the perfect dessert to make in my opinion for any special occasion, especially Valentine's Day coming up. And let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite dessert to make for Valentine's Day? Are you a chocolate lover? Are you not into chocolate? Um, so let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.